Hey, Pastor David of the Bible Bank Incorporated and Word of Life Church. Uh, I'm here with you today doing some real talk on praying in tongues. So I've been contacted by <clears throat> uh, many viewers lately asking about my thoughts on the biblical use of tongues. Well, let me say uh, this, that the book of 1 Corinthians, especially in chapter 14, the Apostle Paul rebuked the Corinthians for their wrong use of the gifts of tongues. Now, one thing is very clear here, that he never said that they were what they were doing was not inspired by the Holy Spirit. He never said it was of the devil like some people uh, teach. He didn't say that it wasn't real. He was just saying that they were using it incorrectly. Uh, that they were actually speaking in tongues so that people could think that they were somebody special uh, and that they were and uh, they were do dominating this assembly and things like that so so tongues is a real thing and and it's biblical but you can speak in tongues carnally okay now I don't say I, I know about everybody else but but personally I tried to speak in tongues for literally over a decade and I could not do it on my own. But when I was finally received the baptism of the Holy Spirit over this last year, you know, I had already been saved 15 years and a pastor for 10 years. And I literally just started speaking tongues this last year when I was Holy Spirit baptized. Uh, now, when I did it, it, it was a supernatural thing. But there are times that, that you can sit there uh, and listen. And I know it's easy with all that jibber jabber. Uh, it's easy to think that it's just you and it's not and it's not the Holy Spirit. But with me, I know it's just me because because I couldn't do it on my own. I believe that uh, you have to mix faith with these kind of things. OK, so, for instance, uh, the word of God is powerful. But the Bible says in Hebrew uh, chapter 4, verse 2, that the word preached unto them did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So you can take the word of God and you can read it carnally and you can preach from the Bible carnally like I, I did for some time. Does it mean that the scriptures are wrong? No, it doesn't. But if you aren't mixing it with faith, it's not going to release the power in you, okay? And it's the same thing with speaking in tongues. I don't believe that you can uh, speak in tongues under the inspiration of the devil. But I do believe that you can do it without mixing it with faith, and it can become just a religious thing that you do. And, 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 you, and you, need, you need to mix it with faith, okay? You know, people also have asked me uh, if speaking in tongues is, is a gift that only certain people can obtain. Or can all speak in tongues? Well, I'm here to tell you today that all can have tongues. Okay, they can speak tongues. And I believe this. Uh, now, now, there's a scripture I base this on in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. And I'm not going to take the time to go and turn over there. Um, but you can if you want. Uh, but I'll say this about it. Some people have used 1 Corinthians chapter 14 to say that uh, only some people are given the gifts of tongues. The gift of tongues. But... What that's talking about, if you read the context, Paul is talking about how the gifts operate in a church service, okay? And it, it lists in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, nine gifts of the Spirit. One of them is a gift of speaking in tongues. You know, another one of uh, those gifts is a gift of interpretation. Now, it's true that not everybody has a gift of tongues and any of those other gifts in the church service. But where you... That's where you speak in tongues and interpret. But let me tell you, all can speak in tongues in their private prayer life and receive interpretation in private too, in many cases, if you ask for it, okay? And, and there's many scriptures that go along with that. Uh, and one of the, the big ones is in Mark chapter uh, 16. It says that these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, that Jesus is talking there. Uh, and he, he says that they shall cast out devils. They shall speak in new tongues. And so if, you, if you're a believer, you can speak in tongues. And there's a private prayer language that everyone can have. And that's for personal edification. But then there's also a gift of the Spirit that operates in a church service. Uh, just like the gift of healings. And you better be interpreting it if you do it in the church, okay? Uh, the, the gift of miracles, the gift of discerning spirits. They all, oper they all operate uh, in the church assembly. Okay? And, and not everybody 
has that those gifts. You know, I know some people that it seems like they just have this gift of speaking in tongues uh, and interpreting their tongues in a church service. And, and yeah, that is a ministry gift for them. But everyone, y'all, everyone can pray in their own private prayer language. Amen. You know, I really hope that helps you all some. And, you know, I, I want you to understand something. I love you guys. I would never say anything to make you feel like a second-rate Christian or like you're not as good as someone else. I'm not going to call out any denomination as being less of a Christian than another. I believe that the, you all love Jesus in all the different denominations. There's born-again Christians that love Jesus. Uh, and um, you. let me be clear, you all, upon being born again, upon being saved or whatever you want to call it in your particular uh, denomination, you receive the Holy Spirit. You are you have the Holy Spirit indwelling in you, okay? And there's, there's, that can't be taken from you. Jesus promised you that. But the power, the power that Jesus talks about comes from the baptism in the Holy Spirit. So there's, a, there's another level. It's not that some people have more power than others or some people have more Holy Spirit than others. You just have an ability to walk in that, uh, uh, that full activated power of the Holy Spirit with that Holy Spirit baptism. And this is all scriptural, y'all. You know, if you really want me to do a video that delves deeper into those scriptures, yeah, please reach out to me uh, and I'll do it sooner than later. I do have it on my roster to get to it at some point. But if you want it sooner than later, hey, I'll, I'll get to it and get it out there to you. Uh, but hey, we love y'all. As always, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And know that Kelly and I, we do love you, but most importantly, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Amen? Praise God.